antenna. The red thing on the end is a uh, dielectric lens which just makes it focus onto the dish. So the transmitter lead goes back to a 50 watt power amplifier inside that box and there's also a transverter from 70 sems to 2.4 gigahertz because the uplink is on 2.4. The downlink is on uh, 10 gigahertz and that uses a standard LMB with a small modification uh, it's locked to GPS to uh, keep it on frequency for the narrowband stuff and it's fed with DC and there's an IF coming out of the LMB at 739 megahertz. So that goes down the two coaxes. The whole box is fed with, uh, there's a 432 megahertz speed on the big coax and the small coax is a 799, it's just standard TV coax for the receive. So if we go indoors and see, see what we've got. Okay, so the, the receive signal comes down in, in, into the box that's hidden under there and that's, that's got a splitter which splits the signal in, into a television receiver box which is a standard mini tuner that, that's just a filter to keep the transmit out um, and that goes into a, 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 a standard TV receiver in one direction and into a Lime SDR for the narrowband uh, section and the TV is viewed on this application which is called mini tune um, on the transmit side, for the TV, the Lime SGR generates uh, 400, 432 MHz for the TV and it's transverted up via this splitter where I can feed in the narrowband signal from an FT817 or the video uh, TV signal from there. And you can, you can simply transmit simply by turning on, on the amplifier and uh, pressing a PTT line in, in the software application that generates TV. This is DATV Express by Charles Brain, G4GUL. So that, that's the, 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 the whole thing. You can monitor what's happening on the channel with the web SDR. Um, it just shows the signals. That big signal there is the beacon. And if you look at that beacon signal, it's transmitting a continuous rolling video. This rolling video is running a, uh, uh, running a program about the satellite and its launch and at, at the beginning of the uh, thing there is a, a introduction in both Arabic and English by the uh, head of the Qatar uh, satellite group who sponsored and um, funded the equipment. So that's the TV side and, and you can see this video is continuously running. You, you, there's the uh, thing and in a few moments we, you will see our friend who has an A7 call sign and he's also an important gentleman in the uh, Qatar government. What we have here is the uh, system for uh, narrowband SSB and CW on the transponder. On the screen you can see uh, a waterfall display of the whole transponder. The signal at the bottom, which you see here, is a CW beacon and the signal at the top is, is a, a data beacon. And In between you see signals popping up that are uh, mainly SSB and there's somebody sending a series of dots down here. Um, the system for narrowband is an FT817 driving the same transverter I use, use for TV but at a much lower level because I don't need to run 50 watts to do, do narrowband, it works with about a watt uh, 
to this 1.2 meter dish. Um, so the whole thing then becomes PTT controlled. There is the background noise and if I transmit you'll hear my voice followed by a small echo due to the delay to the satellite. One, two, three, four, five. Golf Tango 3, Papa Yankee Echo Portable. Golf Tango 3, Papa Yankee Echo Portable testing. And that's it really, it's just like having an HF band that's permanently open. Um, it covers the whole of the hemisphere from round about Indonesia uh, across to the tip of Brazil. So it's a wonderful resource done by the Qatari Amateur Radio Society, AMSAT and AMSAT DL and I believe the transponder was uh, built by a Japanese tech company.